my god, give me that ammo. Oh my god. Ducks can die. Shoot all zombies. Oh my god. Like a boss. A duck's opinion. Quack, quack, quack. I don't like the direction I'm running this in. I'm running like total opposite direction that I'd normally do it. That really, really, really sucked. I gotta quit running out of my spots, get back in my zones, quit being a little bitch. Got 10 more rounds here, and I don't wanna have to redo this damn video. If I end up redoing this damn video, we just might not have, we just might not do it. I'm just saying, I'm sick of having to redo like the first 20 rounds, and then I die before I get to 30, before, he, before the lights, the eyes change, before he talks more. And just before I get there, I'm just a, this is a road to round 30 challenge here, so I'm trying here, guys. I'm fucking trying. We got points for days. We can do this. So um, I don't know. Let's go. Let's go attack the uh, the fallout shelter again, really quick, before we kill these last two guys. Um. If you look up here, like, the clock thing has changed. I think this clock thing is what has to do with when the perks land. I think as time slowly clicks down, as you see up here, because it wasn't there when we first looked at it, as time slowly ticks down, um, a new perk randomly spawns. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I mean, that's not confirmed, but it's just, it seems pretty obvious. So, let's see if we got any more information from these guys. You guys say anything else? I really just can't hear them. It's really, really low audio, but they definitely say something. And that's definitely the nerdy guy. It sounds just like him. So, I guess nothing more to do but go around 21. More audio. Shh. Hmm, so I couldn't even hear that. I'm not sure exactly he said, but I bet it was something from one of the moon audio. I bet it was. I couldn't hear it that well that time. Sometimes you can't. It's a little bit rough, but I bet you that was some audio from the moon easter egg. It like had to been. I'm just waiting for him to talk about Sam again. Like that's a really important factor. I want to see these eyes change. I'm not sure when it does it. I thought it was around 16 and 17, but apparently it's, uh, it's a bit different than that. It's a wee bit different. God, I really wish there was some thunder gun or some wonder weapon. Like, it'd be... I'd feel so much better with a thunder gun on this map. I'm just saying. It's not that I want to make it easier. I just... It's just I really don't have a good running spot. And a thunder gun would be amazing, okay? I'm running low on ammo and it's just not giving me ammo like I really want it. So it's rough. hard all the way around, you know what I mean? <laughs> I hear something else, you hear that? Like another like sound of something crashing down. It looked like the uh it looks like the damn clock thing reset. That big hand wasn't on the, the three. It was over there by the uh more like one o'clock. So that hand just reset or is that me? I mean I know perks don't go away. Oh I thought I got stuck there. I can't stress how I'm just, I'm fucked. I don't honestly think I'm going to make it around 30. It's going to be freaking miracle. Speaking of miracles. Int skills miracle. Is that all the zombies? So I want to keep one. Oh, nope, nope, never mind. It's not. <laughs> I want to keep one for that box. Oh, we got a slow one, okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need something out that box. Something is going to have to happen if I'm, if I'm going to live. Alright, box. So was there another perk? Maybe there's another perk I didn't know about. Actually, you know what I want to look at? There's this door you can buy. It's actually a very expensive door. But if you buy it, it'll give you max ammo. And it won't actually... Let me, that's wrong. It won't give you max ammo. It'll give you whatever perk's in there. And it's pretty random. So, like... The idea that the max ammo is going to be in here is pretty low, but we'll see what's in here. 
It's this door right here. That's like the other mystery. It's a nuke. I don't want a nuke. So this changes every once in a while to something different. And you can buy this door, I think, for 3000 Yeah. You can buy it for 3000 and get whatever's in here at the time. But it needs to be something you're actually going to want. And a nuke just isn't that. And I'm not sure how often that changes either. So I could buy wall ammo for this B34R. But I actually much rather hit the box a little bit and try to get a... I don't know. Something that I can match with double tap to really take these zombies out a lot quicker and we can really barge through a couple rounds. Because even if I don't make it around 30, I might still post this. Just because we've been doing a lot of stuff. We've been saying a lot of stuff and it's been it's been fun. So war machine is definitely not that gun that I'm talking about. Let's try firing at a few things. Yeah, this isn't either. But I don't know. Could there be a crazy ass Easter egg on Moon where you can travel, or not Moon, but on this map on uh, Nuketown that you could potentially? Oh, what is this? Hello. I'll keep the ray gun, but hello, STA thing. It's good to see you. I think I will pack a punch you, get you double tap, and I think you might help me through a few rounds here. This thing looks fucking beast. I, I remember seeing this on Transit before, but I rarely get it. I think this is the one on transit. Like, I really rarely ever get this gun. But I hope you guys have been enjoying this Let's Play. I mean, we're like almost it's almost the fifth five videos in. So it's been we've been doing pretty crazy and we've been doing pretty good. I'm a little bit sketchy about making it to round 30 though, just because of the fact we don't have what we're looking for. It's still the nuke. Maybe it changes like every round. Just because of the fact that um I don't have my I don't have my uh quick revive. If I go down one more time, it's just over. So is this the one that has like the scope thing that locks on? Yeah, it's the one that like locks onto him. Like perfect. Hey Max Ammo, I was looking for you earlier. I don't mind the gun I got though, Max Ammo. I'll give you that. See how quick it reloads. Not too bad. All right, so I think this gun and the Max Ammo might help us out. This is nice. We might go a couple more rounds here. I actually have a little bit more hope. I know I can easily die, but I have a little bit more hope that I might actually survive this bitch now that I have that gun and that max ammo. Just gets me through a couple more rounds, possibly. Or I could get stuck right here, right now, and die. <laughs> That's the love and the hate for the zombies right there. Anything could happen, and we all notice. I got stuck right there. I gotta start concentrating some, because I kind of fully have already talked about the Easter eggs, but their eyes have not changed. That's one thing that I noticed. Their eyes have not changed to blue yet. I'm not sure what exact level you have to do it. I mean, like I said, it could be totally random, but... I would like the eyes to change soon. Be nice. You know, help me prove my theory about it being on the moon. Although, I, that's honestly, it's not a theory. It's been proven by a lot more people than just me. This is definitely taking place in the same time. Right after you explode the Earth and the moon... East, in the moon easter egg for the moon map on black ops 1 it's like god if that if that wasn't such a pain in the ass to do i almost want to go back and like get one of my buddies and we'll go back and just do the easter egg for fun just to really like you know nail it nail the freaking hammer in the head you know type deal i really don't want to run, run around this gun i like the big boy gun don't get me wrong it's just i don't think it's the best gun to be running around on maybe like hip shot I don't know, these are very sketchy turns. God, that gun with the auto aim, those bad fucking ass. Almost got stuck there, that's what I mean. I need this ray gun on my hand to clear out a path if shit hits the fan. And I tell you, shit hits the fan quite often, and when it does, you want a rain jacket or something to block that shit from getting all over you. <laughs> It's like I, I use that I use that term I use that term so so honestly. It is shit hitting fan and you don't want it. It's gross. It's nasty. <laughs> oh man. So I really hope he says something in this next one and their eyes turn blue. So that'd be really awesomeness. Hear that sound? Let's watch that clock. Does that clock move? Nothing's crashing. 
I think it still makes the sound even though all the perks are dropped, but it still makes the sound as if it was random. Like the clock hasn't moved, nothing else has come down because all the perks are already here. So I'm pretty sure it just makes that sound every now and again because it's so random. So any more messages? Rick Toffin? Any more? Nothing yet. If I do make it to round 30, which, like I said, it's going to be really sketchy if I somehow do. But if I do, we'll just try to go until I die if their eyes haven't changed yet. But as you see, the counter just restarted. I, again, don't think the counter has anything to do with anything. I just think the counter's there just to be fancy. Just to, for it to count down because it's a Nuketown counter. You know what I mean? That's my honest opinion on the counter. We'll see. We will see. But yeah, I'm not trying to do like a high round 40 like I did on transit. When I did that, tr when I did the road to round 40 on transit, I seriously was just trying to do a high level. I could have went to 30, I would have been happy. I could have went to 40, which I did and was extremely happy. And I could have went to 50 and that would have just been mind blowing for me. You know, I'd just been like, holy shit, how did I just get to 50 on transit? So on this one, I'm actually saying I'm going to 30 and that's really all I want to do. Because this is not on any leaderboards. This is not on any of that stuff. This is just straight up, you know, straight up zombies. Just us playing. And the only, the only, you know, this is not going to count on any leaderboards. All this is going to count for is me showing you guys this on my page. And uh, that's where it probably counts the most. <laughs> so it's probably a good thing. See, that's why you need that ray gun. For when I'm coming back around and there's a group spawning back in. That's where it really just came in handy. That's where that ray gun would just really save me. And it's really, really helpful like, to know where these guys spawn and to like see it coming. Because when you make this turn right here, you got to watch them. You don't want them to be coming around. And so this is where I turn and take them out. Boom. And this thing has that auto aim. It's so effing good. Look at that. So fucking good. So I want to kind of use the ray gun if they're still spawning in. And just take them all out before I get this max ammo. Because that is of importance. But I also don't want to lose that max ammo. See, these, 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 these last, like, you know, seven rounds, if I do make it a 30, are going to be really harsh. I just really hate the fact that I do not have these, the uh, quick revive. Like, just because I couldn't get Jug until around, what, 15? So I didn't get Jugged around 15, and it burned through all my Quick Revives, and that really fucking sucked. But it looks like we got to 24. It's pretty damn good. I like 24. And there's not too much more I have to say. I'm, like, really waiting for more audio, you know? So let me just make a quick little look around, see how everything's looking. Knife a TV. Got anything else to say? No. Let me come here and just knife this. Hello? 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 Did I just hear a beep or am I tripping? Let me go ahead and just uh, unlock all this stuff too. Look around, make sure I don't... I know there's really nothing else, but I just... I really am a type of person that really likes to just make sure. Open up everything. Just because it's round 23. Why the hell not? I don't really want to open up this, so I feel like it might mess up my sh circle strategy. Damn, I, I totally forgot they had Galvin Knuckles in here. I don't know if that would have helped me or not, but it'd be a cool thing. Alright, so I just want to get everything open just in case it did have something to do with something. Like that clock. That clock just went flying over here, and you can move it around. That's so weird, like, like I don't know, man. These Easter eggs, you can never tell what they could be, you know? So let's see. Come on, man. Come on. Let's let's get these guys to say something in this round. 24. Speak. Speak, Riftoff, and speak. You bastard. Speak. It might have something to do with me uh, taking out that TV, too. I'm not going to put nothing in chance. But I will, I will say, though, I've seen it. I've seen these zombies' eyes turn to freaking blue before. It's ridiculous that they're not doing it. Like, I've seen it happen before. And that's just, you know, it just proves that this was taking place on Moon. I guess that's the only thing I was really trying to prove to you on this. I really don't have any more Easter egg theories, but if you guys got some more crazy Easter egg theories that kind of sticks things together in Nuketown, that, you know, gets things stirring up, 
then by all means, let me know. And we'll, we'll stir up some rumors together and uh, we'll actually probably find out some truth of all of it. You always really have to look like 100 steps ahead of you. If I can give you guys any major tip to help you guys, it's always be looking what's in front of you, not what's behind you. It's like looking at the map like 10 feet ahead of you. It's like seeing if anyone's coming from that side and being able to know, yeah, I got 10 seconds. No one's coming. I see a zombie's coming. He's really slow. I still have a few seconds to knock the rest of these guys out. Turn around. Is anyone coming? No. But if there was, you'd be able to take them out quick and get back over here. You hear the thing crashing again? And it did it again. Another perk would have showed up if it hasn't already. But it already did, so of course another one's not going to show up right this second. Fuck. That's it. So that's round 24 so I mean I knew that was gonna happen I really knew I wasn't gonna make it around 30 just because of the fact that um I lost those quick revives so early on and to be honest this was an hour-long gameplay I honestly have nothing else I wanted to say I just wanted to show you that after a while there is a point where he says another audio and your eyes of the zombies they go to they go to blue instead of orange and that just shows that the Easter egg is completed and you can move on from the moon at least and I did want to go a little bit farther but to be honest I don't want to do this again this is like my fifth time doing it I got to 24 good and damn enough if you know what I mean I'm kind of over it and um, that was Nuketown so we're gonna try to play some more fun games here and there for Black Ops 2 hopefully we have a release date by this time for when the new map pack comes out because I'm ready I want the new map pack I'm so ready but thank you guys so much for watching um I'm sorry if I let you guys down I tried to get 30 but you guys saw we had some difficulties with Jug. Getting Jug on 15 is terrible, but I think I, I did my best. I think I did a really good job, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up and leave the comments. Talk to you guys later. Dust and fly. Peace.